Subraya todas las palabras. At a private language school in Kathmandu, Nepalese students learn the finer points of Spanish grammar. The school has served more than a hundred students since it opened a few years ago. But it was a rocky start. Jackson Subedi said he had to hire an expensive facilitator to get his business registered with the government. We need to hire a person so that he, uh, he can do the business, do the pro registration process for us and then uh, it became a, a costly affair. If the person would not have been there, then we would have to uh, visit the office minimum of five or six times. Nepal is known for its beautiful mountains. But these are familiar mountains of a different sort. A backlog of applications from entrepreneurs seeking permission to open small businesses. For years the agency wasn't computerized and the system to register company names was archaic. But things are different now. With help from the World Bank Group's International Finance Corporation, there's a new database and digital filing system. They have registered approximately 114,000 companies, of which 90,000 have been scanned and digitized. Streamlining the process of approval by government officials committed to getting businesses up and running. The modernization comes just in time. Entrepreneurship is thriving in Nepal. It seems these days everyone wants to open up their own business. Back in around 2006, every student uh, wanted, to become an, uh, wanted to become a banker. The trend has changed and every student now would want to become an entrepreneur. And this easy step of registering the business will certainly help them. Language school owner Subedi is expanding his empire. He recently registered another business using the newly automated process. I just had to go online to check the name and then fill out the information. His new company is called Hipster Technologies and its mission to help entrepreneurs thrive in Nepal. Now that it's easier for startups to get registered, file their annual reports and get down to business.